Shand said, I hope today in 10 minutes today I would be able to solve any doubts regarding git merge versus git rebase. So why, what is exactly merge and rebase? So these are the two techniques through which we integrate the changes of one branch to another. I will explain you with an example. Let's say I am going with the merge first. I will tell you why git merge is preferred over rebase. What are the disadvantages of rebase also? Okay. So let's start with uh, git merge. So here consider that this is your certain master branch. Your master branch, which is that commit one and current changes are A, B, C. Let's say that. And also consider that uh, this is all happening in a uh, like a within that time itself. Let's say this is a T1. Okay. Now at this point of time, you have taken a like feature. You now you are in a feature branch, feature branch. Okay. And you started working on top of it. And let's say that this is the first commit, which you have done is feature one. And what to commit is like uh, a dash BC. You have made some changes from a to a dash. Okay. Consider that this is happening at time two. So consider this as like a, uh, the way of commits are happening. Now, since this master branch is a common branch where multiple engineers are contributing. So it is proceeding further. And let's say some, some engineer committed C2 commit two and made the changes that a B dash C some changes. Hey, they, ha they have changed from B to B dash. Okay. And while you were working on your feature one, you might have done some commit feature two and you have done a dash B C or you have added something like D. Okay. Now what happened is, and uh, again, as I told, this is common branch, multiple changes are happening and somebody has changed like a B dash C dash. Now at this point of time, you realize that, Hey, there are certain changes on master, which I should be having it because whenever you are working on certain feature, it's always recommended that you, it is, should be up to date. Okay. Up to date with the base. So it base was this master branch. So this, whatever the changes feature is doing, it's base. It should be up to date with the base. So now at this point of time, it decided to integrate the changes. Okay. All the master branch changes, it want to integrate to feature. So currently I am on feature branch and I run the command git merge master. I am on a feature branch and I want to take the changes of master and I am using the merge technique. So what it will do? So it will create a new commit, let's say new commit and all the changes it will integrate. So a, here it is a, here it is a dash, whatever the changes you want to keep. I want to keep a dash, b dash b, b dash I want to keep, c dash c, I want to keep c dash and here d. So this is the new commit changes. Any conflict come, you have to resolve it and Whenever you will see the feature branch, it's going to look like this. And if you do git log and if you do git log, how the git log uh, history you would be able to see, it would be see like, okay, the first commit happened was C1. After that feature one, after that C2, after that F2, after that C3 and after that new commit. So this would, if you are on a feature branch, always remember I'm talking like when you are on a feature branch and you run git log, how the feature branch git history, git commit history gonna look like, like this. Okay. So it preserved the history of the commits and it is very important part because you remember when, whenever any issue comes in IntelliJ, what you do, you do git annotate and during git annotate, you will see the history. Okay. This code was earlier was this, after this has been changed to this this after that code has been changed to this. 
so this history helps you to debugging who has changed this part after that okay change to this who has changed this after that it has been changed to this who has changed this so this history preserves and that's why git merge is very much recommended whenever you are working on a branch which is uh, multi many engineers are contributing it okay now let's see that rebase if i want to do or achieve the same thing with rebase this is your master branch and this is the commit c1 a b c at this point i you have take a feature branch and you have made one commit f1 and it's like a dash bc and after that some engineer is contributing to master branch it become to c2 and the changes like a b dash c you are working on your feature you made some feature to commit a dash b c d and uh, somebody else is working on this one c3 a b dash c dash okay now again at this point of time you want to integrate the master changes to feature branch but now this time you are on feature branch and now you have used a technique called rebase get rebase master so now you want to rebase or you want to take the changes of master and apply it to your feature branch you want to make your feature branch up to date now how rebase would handle it so rebase what it will do is it will first remove this changes it will first remove this changes and what it will do is it will rewrite these commits first commit is f1 so it will rewrite on top of this c1 c2 c3 on top of it it will write okay f1 so it like i want to keep a or a dash i want to keep a dash b dash or b b dash c dash or c c dash so any conflict come you have to resolve it after f1 it will now rewrite your f2 commit you want to keep a dash or a dash so a dash only b dash or b b dash only c or c dash c dash only and then d so now you got the changes but here if you see what different has happened you got a linear you got a linear history if you see git log now you would be like seeing c1 c2 c3 f1 and f2 so now you like you are getting a linear history so all your feature changes are together but the biggest problem with this is that it rewrite the history if you do git annotate you will see that okay this is how the changes first happen after that this after that this after that this after that this okay so that is the biggest problem just imagine this problem when you are on a master branch and currently i was in feature now let's say that you are on a master branch and by mistake you did git rebase and uh, your feature branch see the impact what it will do it will take all the changes of master and on f1 f2 it will try putting it the whole history commit history is gone how the developers has committed uh, to the code base it's like totally it will change it it will now make it a linear but it will do not honor the commit history so always use rebase on a branch where you are only working it nobody else is contributing it but whenever you want uh, to integrate the changes and when you are on a branch which is contributing by many engineers always go for merge 